Hi Pottery Peeps, we have another kiln opening and I'm super excited about this one. I've got a lot of mugs in here. I've been uh, doing a lot of stuff for the upcoming art festival on September 16th, which is here in Springville, Utah. If you're local, it is put on by the Springville Art Museum, uh, which is a renowned museum in the area, maybe in the United States. They do some incredible stuff. And it's only local artists and it has to be handmade by the artist, the artist has to be there. So it's a true art festival. Nothing coming in from China or India or anything like that. So nothing mass produced, it all has to be done by the artist. So I, it was my favorite event last year. We'll be bringing down a wheel and throwing and demoing and just having a, a party. <laughs> These to me are just parties, it's, it's great to meet uh, the local people and and to kind of show off <laughs> so there's a lot of that kind of stuff in um, this plus um, Savannah and Caroline and Mickey I think that's it in this one so let's go ahead and uh, let's get you set up we already have a problem <laughs> this doesn't bode well from the very beginning this is Mickey's um, very very sad this is more than an S crack I wonder if Maybe it got handled wrong in the drying, or maybe it was too dry when she cut it for this type of stress crack to happen. So she'll be bummed. I'm bummed. That's beautiful. All that work. Ah, oh, it happens. The kiln gods have taken a sacrifice. So maybe Mickey had her sacrifice, and the rest of it um, is going to be stellar. <laughs> These are Caroline, her tiles. Um... <laughs> she's got some fun sayings on these so she's graffitoed these tiles and I believe I'm not sure what clay she's used on this it looks like the speckled buff but it's a little darker than normal so those are hers and she's been doing some spoons these are hers too I've done some spoons too but mine aren't in here <laughs> So I'm anxious to see. She did some slip trailing on them also. These are very fun. I haven't, um, mine are done too, but I haven't glazed them. Oh, I like how she got that effect. I'm not sure what she's done on here. I know she's done the slip trailing and then she's put it into, she's dipped it into glaze. Some of it's clear glaze. I think she's actually added some stroke and coats to them too, but I love what she's done here. That's very cool. If you're in the area, both Savannah and Caroline will be at the farmer's market tomorrow. Today is Friday, August something. <laughs> I'll put the date up. We're in the teens of August. I'm not sure what what the actual date is I get to work every day or play every day so I don't really keep an eye on the date so much all right let's do these these are um, Savannah's she's thrown them on the wheel I'll let her get the tops off uh, they're soup bowls pumpkin soup bowls can you imagine having some great stew or even some pumpkin soup out of these she's done black under glaze for the faces and then the mako melon and that's just beautiful and she's done these out of reclaim so they have some speckles in them and then the i'm not sure i think she did vert luster on the handle i know she on the leaves did the spectrum holly green which is one of my favorites these, I think, are going to be a big hit this weekend. Ah, cute! Love Halloween. Love making Halloween stuff. All right. This is Mickey's, and for some reason, this is the Midnight Ceramics, the Malibu Barbara, which is one of our favorite pinks. But we got pinholing. This is also out of reclaim, so maybe some of the pinholing came from the reclaim. I'm not sure on that. Okay, this is a hand-built mug that I did. And I kind of wanted a gothic 
witty. I got a bone handle. And I used um, Sharon Hoppy's rolling pin. I'll link it in the description. And I did a black wash and wiped it back. But yeah, that kind of, that's fun. And then the stamp is from um, Della Designs. The Witch's Brew. Yeah. That's cool. Witchy stuff's coming. All right, these are also Mickey's to go with her. These are her mugs and saucers. I've shown them before. It's, they've been very, very popular. Um, so these ones are fine. No problems with these. And she's done um, Amico Sky with um, the Stroke and Coat Sunkissed on these. And then these are Caroline's, and I believe this is the True or Dark Green Celadon by Amico. And then she's done this with underglazes, and it's got a clear. And then she loves to go around. <laughs> she weaves my flower beds when she's here and takes weeds out and presses them into clay and makes little dishes. You know what? I think this is one of the speckled stroke and coats. I think that's what she's done, and that's what she put on the um, the uh, spoons. I think that's what it is. Oh, this turned out much better. So in the last kiln firing, we had some problems with, uh, I didn't think she had the glaze stirred up enough. Uh, this is the uh, Clayscapes Arctic Blue on the Terra Red Clay. It's just absolutely phenomenal. Look at that colors that come through on this. So this fired the way we're used to looking or seeing it fired. This was a cone five firing with a 10 minute hold. But yeah, that's beautiful. She'll be happy with that. Okay. Well, wonder what's going on with the, this is actually B mix and she's got some pinholing on this too with the Malibu Barbara. That's a beautiful mug. They're not sharp. That one kind of is. So we'll have to refire that. Okay, the beginning of the witches. This is Savannah's witch. Isn't it cute? Huh? So cute. Look at the little, this is her earth witch. She's done some elemental witches in here. So this is her earth witch with the tree of life. Oh, how cute. She's going to be happy. There's quite a few more witches in here. Ooh, this turned out nice. Wow. I love the fact that I got a drip right there without it going over. So this is shadow blue. I did pitch black on the inside. These are clayscapes. And then I put a little bit of pearl white at the top. But I like how that black is going into the blue. I'm going to have to play with that a little bit more because <laughs> that's fun. Very fun. Okay, so these we did. I didn't do the mulberry quite so thick this time. So I did these in one of the classes where I pressed the lace in. So I've done the, the um, black underglaze, wiped it back. This is clear on top, mulberry here, pitch black on the inside. And it's got a little skull there. You can actually see it in this one. <laughs> see how the other one did. I did glaze the whole thing. It was like two in the morning. I didn't want to clean off pots, so I just glazed it and put it on stilts. Yep, you can see the roses and the skull in this one too. So yay, <laughs> those ones turned out. All right, so since I'm in Utah, and one of Utah's um, were known sayings, actually that turned out really nice, is, oh my heck, you know, because <laughs> very religious state, and uh, not a lot of swearing, but people swear all the time here. <laughs> but it's kind of funny that um, everybody says, oh my heck here. So I did a Utah cookie cutter, put the mountains and trees in it, uh, painted that with underglazes. I gotta find a faster way to do that. 
But on the mug, I wanted to represent the canyons. So I did Albany Gold, um, Clayscapes, Albany Gold, Tim Stark Celadon, and then I did cream on the inside, and on the rim is just another dip of the cream. I really like that. That turned out cool. Oh, I gotta be careful when I do that. So I did two different styles. I think I might like the smaller Utah um, stamp, the cookie cutter better. I don't know, you'll have to let me know. Do you like the big Utah State or the smaller Utah State on the mug? And these were all done the same way. So, oh, and then I also put, I rolled a tree into the handle. Ooh, look at this handle. Look how pretty. Okay, that Albany Gold. Look at the purples that came out with the cream on the Albany Gold. Okay. Love it. Yeah, they all turned out really well. Okay. All right, so we're in the middle of the kiln, which tends to be the hottest part of the kiln, at least on mine. Dang, wonder what happened. All of these pinholed. You know what? I'm gonna suggest we just leave them alone and put them in for a cone six and see what happens. Okay, this one did not, nope, we got a pinhole on the inside. Huh. We haven't had any issues at all pinholing with the Malibu Barbara. This is the very first, yep, she's got one in here too. Oh crap, gotta be really careful with those pinholes. I've cut myself, so now I'm bleeding on everything. <laughs> Back. I will be right back. I'm gonna grab a band-aid. Okay, so we're bandaged so we don't bleed on everybody's pots. It seems like every kiln opening I do, um, I cut myself on something. So be careful. <laughs> Not for the faint of heart. This is a refire, one of the mugs from last time. And it's much, much better. There is a little bit there, but it's not sharp but much, much better. All right, so these are Savannah's. Her handles actually broke, they dried too fast. So she decided to give them a hook. She's done um, the Enchanted Forest on the inside. These are, I think they're sand bow transfers or lawns, kind of interchangeable. And she's drawn roses in between them. So she's got three or four in here done this way. So I need to use that Enchanted Forest more often. That's just a, I love all of those speckled, the yellow specks and the green specks. Don't know if you can see those. More leaves for Caroline. And some butterflies for Caroline. Okay, so these are Savannah's Elemental Witches. Oh, and they're kind of like finger witches. <laughs> so I think this is her Earth Witch, the Harvest Witch. She's been a harvest witch. I'm not sure. Maybe this is definitely her fire witch. Love the hair. <laughs> oh, look at the little blue flame. This is either the air witch or the water witch. She's got some skulls in there. Well, this is another earth witch. So she's done a couple of earth witches. Maybe this is her air witch. Sun and air, maybe, I don't know. I need to get making some witches. I haven't made any witches this year. And these are Savannah's 
bloody ghosts. There's a couple of them in here. I love those eyes. They are not happy to be in the afterlife. So this is something fun that we've never done before. Savannah has made these for her sister who is pregnant. It's a closed form. One of them's blue, one of them's purple on the inside with the colored slips. And so to do the reveal, when they find out if it's a girl or boy, they have to break them. It's actually super, super sad that these, these are so cute that they're going to end up getting broken. But really, a really original idea. Another one of Mickey's. Mushrooms. We're in massive, there's a lot of mushrooms in here. Um, this one is Caroline's. These ones are closed forms. They are Savannah's and they're salt and pepper shakers. And uh, she threw them on the wheel. I did put up a short video on how I threw some mushrooms and then put the slips on them, the co or the colored slips and the dots. So she took my idea, but she made closed forms and then put holes in for stoppers for um, salt and pepper shakers. I love how someone takes my idea or we all take ideas from each other and then make it ours. And this she's gonna love, ooh, boy, that ran. Oh, that's pretty. She's got some grinding though. But God, that's gorgeous. So it's pitch black, um, smoky Merlot and seaweed. And it runs more on the pitch black than it does the obsidian if you try this. But she also did blue slip on the bowl on the inside. And then she put a swap, swash of um, a brush stroke of seaweed on the middle. That's really pretty. Almost looks like an eye. <laughs> so when we were glazing, this was super, super fun. So this is fire brick on the inside, clear on the outside with these bloody ghosts. But she gave them blood splatter by um, blowing um, the fire brick <laughs> glaze on the pot. She would um, just put a dot and then, and then hit it with her air, blow on it, and she would get blood splatter. <laughs> that was a fun night. So she's done these. Love a sense of humor. All right. So this was done with the black slip and then I put the transfer on it. I can see that I didn't get real great coverage, but I think it works with the hemlock root. And I did opulence ultraviolet on the inside. All right. So a lot of these are mine. A few savannas. Oh, and these are Bella's. Bella does some hand building and I fire for her. That's very fun. That is very fun. Very Easter Island. <laughs> She's got a couple of more mugs down in the bottom. Here's another <laughs> bloody ghost for Savannah. And then she's painted these um, spider webs. Looks like a spider web or a spider party. And then she's got all the little babies crawling down from the top. And then we've got a couple of ghosts in here. Another one of Savannah's. And then this one is um, Caroline's. They've done very well on the ghosts, you guys. So if you're thinking of ideas for fairs and markets this fall, think about making some ghosts. Okay, where do I start? <gasps> oh. All right, let's start here. This is another mug that was done just like that other one I showed you with the transfer, a long transfer. The black slip that I should have done a second coat on, but that's okay. And then the um, spectrum or opulence violet on the inside. Okay, this one's got a great story that I have done a video on. 
I haven't put it up because I didn't know if it would actually work. Let me see if I can find where the crack was. There was a crack running down um, all the way through and it was bone dry. So in the video, I'm going to show you how to fix it. And it actually came all the way through. I didn't know if it, you don't know on that. This one I will keep because you can see a little hairline. It's covered, but I can see a little hairline. I don't know if you can see it on here. Um, so this one will be mine, but it actually worked. All right, so these ones, these are my moose mugs and I did Northern Lights. I did all of this in colored slips. So I painted it on the wheel, variegated it, and then added purple and blue and green. I did all of that. And then I did um, black on the inside. And they also have, these are from Flexi Bats and I hand painted all of that. So these are my, I do these throughout the year. And they also have a tree on the handle. So I have four of those. We do have moose in Utah. Actually, this make me nervous. <laughs> I'm gonna take them down. Moose we have in Utah are babies compared to the moose I grew up with. Ooh, I like that. It's like a little cloudburst or something right there. And this is done with a silk screen. Eventually I'll get around to doing a video on those. This is for an upcoming video. And I have a bunch of these in here. So I'm just going to gloss through them because I will go into depth on how I did that. It was actually going to be Saturday's video, but then I got this great package from Sharon Hoppy yesterday. So that this got preempted till next week. So next week, I believe, will be the mandala. Aren't these fun? But what's really cool about them? Is you can feel it very textural very cool Ooh, really like that and I think I have eight or nine different ones in here of these maybe just eight Ooh, I like that one All right, so Halloween mugs next. So these I did um, when they were in the bisque after um, they've been bisque fired. I did the variegated purple and orange and black. And then I put, this is Alon Transfers. I put her transfers on this one. I think she's on two of them. Yeah. This one is also hers, but then I also mixed in Sandbow's transfers on the handle. They all have a zombie hand <laughs> coming up out of the grave. These were super fun to make. And then it's got pitch black on the inside from Clayscapes. They took a long time, but boy, they were super fun. There's a graveyard scene. The hands and <laughs> bats. Another graveyard scene. Yeah, these are super fun to make, but very time consuming. And then this one has a witch. And these are all of the little trick or treaters. These are all on the sand bow. Um, under glaze transfers and then this one is haunted houses with another zombie hand coming up out of the ground very happy with those 
Ooh, and we got mushrooms. <laughs> All right, we got a bunch of little stuff. I'm going to... So this is a bowl that I did on the wheel and added the moose and I hand painted the trees and all this was done with colored slips except for the moose they were done with the velvet underglaze black on the outside the pitch black but very nice I really like that very cool and actually this is kind of perfect because I got a bunch of ghosts so let me, I'm already showing you some ghosts of, of these. And you've seen, I'm just going to gather up all the ghosts. Okay, so I have a bowl full of ghosts. <laughs> these are Caroline and Savannah's. And then the other ones I can reach after I get some stuff out. All right, so these are Bella's. And they're hand-painted flowers. Pinch pots. This one says lovely girl. And this one says love me tender. Aw. Alright, some more of the leaf dishes that um, Caroline's done. That one too. And then she sculpted this bird. Isn't he cool? more butterflies of Caroline's and this is interesting I don't know if that's guts coming out of the pants or tongue or <laughs> with Caroline I never know <laughs> and then these are her little she calls these her little fat men <laughs> very creative that kid and then these are her bunnies she actually has a bunny I'm going to put their YouTube channel down too. They're, they've got a fun YouTube channel that shows the bunny. Her little dog. And then she's sculpted these bunnies. Love this one. Love those ears. All right. So you've got a couple of leaves. A couple more ghosts. This was a packed kiln. No little space. She makes some um, jewelry and does different things with the leaves. Okay, now let's see how well these um, mushrooms did. These mushrooms were done with Reclaim. And I did put um, slip on them and I did a little bit of slip trailing. But, and I um, carved in the gills for the mushroom. So then all I had to do in the glazing was put them in clear. That's cool. And they're for like the garden or actually they're for anything. I left them solid in the middle so they'd have some weight. So if they were put outside, they would, wouldn't be apt to tip. This one I tried carving. That's when I decided, nope, not going to do that. Going to leave them whole. <laughs> but there is a um, short video on how I did these. Very fun. Very fun little activity I have some more fairy like and uh, or witchy like mushrooms coming up <laughs> yeah see there's the the gills underneath and they're all thrown in one piece I okay I'm sweating again it's uh saying it's 90 in here um it's supposed to hit mid 90s today we're at least cooling down at least we're not over 100 uh, that's crazy. Um, anyway, I am going to take pictures of mine, my stuff, uh, and have them at the end of the video if you want to stay and take a look at those in some better lighting. And I guess that's it for me today. I hope you can get muddy, and we will see you in the next video.